MacBook Air 2008 and 2009 hard drive replacement. When removing the rear access panel on this model, there are three different unique screw sizes. On the top left is a medium sized screw. And in the top right corner, there's also the same type medium sized screw. In the middle two top screws, they are the longer ones. So in total, there are two long screws in the middle top, two medium length screws on each of the top corners, and six very small screws going around the rest of the contour of the MacBook. Go ahead and remove the four medium and long screws up top first. Now go ahead and remove the six short Phillips head screws. You can now lift up the cover. Before you begin, start off by disconnecting the battery from the logic board. It's connected one simple connector switch. The battery is being held in with nine Phillips head screws in various sizes. Go ahead and unscrew those screws about five to seven turns each, but leave them in their perspective socket this will make it easier for you to just pull them out and place them into the new battery without having to worry about which screw goes where. Once all nine are loose, go ahead and lift up the battery and move it over to the side. Hard drive replacement removal. The hard drive is located in the top left corner. Go ahead and begin by disconnecting the USB cable that's blocking and going over the hard drive. Go ahead and uh, peel that back. Now go ahead and track down and unplug the EyeSight camera cable. The hard drive is being secured with four Phillips head screws. Go ahead and unscrew those. There's a slight difference between the original 2008 and the 2009 MacBook Air hookup. This is what the logic board looks like and the hard drive is a different hard drive with a different ribbon cable. Let's just get a closer uh, look for comparison. The 2008 and the original cable looks slightly different than the 2009 one. That's just something to note. Go ahead and uh, take the hard drive up and remove the rubber uh, coating. Now go ahead and flip it over and push back the little lever and pull out the ribbon cable. You'll need to transfer this cable onto the new drive. Hard drive replacement installation. With the ribbon cable in place, go ahead and place the plastic a rubbery bracket over the drive. Make sure it's nice and tight. Once secured and wrapped around the drive, go ahead and place it into its socket. Secure it with the four Phillips head screws starting at the top. Once the four Phillips head screws are secure, go ahead and uh, reconnect the hard drive to the logic board and reconnect the USB that goes over the drive onto the logic board. Go ahead and reconnect the EyeSight connector. Be careful not to damage this connection. Once that's locked in, go ahead and tuck in the EyeSight cable along the hard drive bracket. That's it, we're done battery reinstallation with the screws transferred into the new battery from the previous battery go ahead and place the battery gently into its socket go ahead and secure the nine Phillips head screws
you can now go ahead and reconnect the battery to the logic board. We're ready to put back the main cover. Place the cover and cover the MacBook Air. Start off by first installing the two long middle Phillips head screws. Then the two medium sized Phillips head screws on each corner on the top of the MacBook. Now install the six short Phillips head screws going around the bottom contour of the MacBook. That's it, we're done.